Well, there it is. Dennis Schroeder saying that LeBron plans on playing until he's 45. It's just so funny to me that he's the one that said it. Um, but the idea of that, I mean, we we know he spends a million dollars a year on his body. He wants to try to play with his kid, yada, yada. But are you buying it? The idea that this man will play until he's 45. Chandler, you first. Um, I wouldn't put it past him. This guy's a physical specimen. He, he, you know, he, like you just said, he spends the time and the money on his body and his craft. Um, and we all know he wants to play with his, his son that we don't even know if it's going to make the NBA, but I think LeBron's going to do everything possible to stay in shape. He's got the physicality. He's got the IQ. He's got the game. I could see him just turning into a five or a point guard and playing till 45. <laughs> I would not be surprised at all. Eddie. Yeah. I agree? think, I think he's going to, I think there's going to be some <sighs> type of competitive spirit here. 45. I mean, this is six years away. So 45 is a lot that you're asking for. That's a long but, time. You know, if he's comfortable being the old grizzled bench version of LeBron or being a 10th, 12th guy, I, I could, Udonis Haslam is probably going to play 21 seasons, you know, and he's yeah. nowhere near the player LeBron is. Uh, it, all jokes aside about LeBron, it is really amazing what he's doing at this age and this far into his career to still be averaging 25 points a game, to have done that for his entire life, essentially. It is pretty amazing. So whatever the decline is over the next three, four years into a role player, that's also amazing. If he's a role player and you're 25. So yeah, if he <laughs> wants to challenge Tom Brady for like the oldest dude out there, why not? He, I, team, teams will sign him. Teams will That's pay him saying, I, him in their sure. arena. It's up to him. Like any team, there. I think all thirty teams would take him if he's moving and breathing at that age. So I think <laughs> it's not. It's, it's just. I think it's whether he wants to or not. I think physically, mentally, I think he'll be able to do it. So it's really if he wants to play, no doubt in my mind, he plays till forty-five. Do you guys think could, though, like? His legacy, I mean, is that how you'd want your final years to be remembered if you are LeBron James? I, I don't think it matters. We, yeah. we don't talk about Wizards, Jordan. Like, when we do, it's no. the two good games that we remember or whatever. I, I, I don't think it matters. His, you know, as much conversation as there is about LeBron's legacy, his legacy is set. The things he's done cannot be erased. You know, he the 3-1 comeback will always be where the LeBron combo starts. So I don't think it matters in that sense. What I wanted to say was, I think there's one team that might not sign him, and it might be the Hornets, because Mike just might be that petty. But <laughs> in, in two years, the, in two years, the chance for literally any team in the league to have him and Bronny even if Bronny's never going to play a second for that team and to sell all those jerseys, like that's too Ooh. enticing. That, that's I mean, We're talking millions and millions of dollars of revenue just off that story alone. And he's been incredibly vocal. And I'd imagine all of the powers that be behind LeBron, including now Clutch, uh, Bronny's agency, uh, Nike and whomever else, they're dying to see these two on a court together. If, for, if nothing else for the photo op. And somebody's right? going to do it. You can bet your bottom dollar. Somebody will draft him in order to get his pop if that need be. No I doubt. Or even if he's, if he's not drafted, someone signing Bronny James just to have the chance of getting LeBron. No doubt. Yeah, it's the show. You got to do it for the show.